So in this video, we're going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is probably one of the most famous mathematical theorems out there. Um, and you're probably familiar with it. So you can state and use the Pythagorean theorem. You can identify whether the triangle is right, obtuse, or acute using Pythagorean theorem. And you can identify a Pythagorean triple. So let's review what the Pythagorean theorem is. In a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse, c, is equal to the sum, so adding together, the squares of the two legs, a and b. Therefore, we get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is only true in right triangles. So let's practice using the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to find the missing lengths. Now notice here we're going to put it in simplest radical form. So we're going to use what we did on um, our radical video. All right, so to identify each part, 20 is C, because that's the hypotenuse. And the reason I know that, it's directly across from the right angle. And then 9, we can say is A, or we can say is B. It doesn't matter. So writing it out, we have nine squared plus b squared equals 20 squared. All right, so simplifying that, we have 81 plus b squared equals 20 squared, which is 400. We're going to minus, minus 81. Sorry, I'm having technology issues. Just like that. See, like to think it's doing something else. Minus 81 We get b squared equals 81 minus 400 is 319. All right, so we're going to take the square root. And we're going to take the square root of 319, which I don't know if there's any number that really divides into 319. There are two factors of 319. It's 11 and 29, which 11 and 29 are both prime. So my final answer is 319. It does not break down any further. All right. So then we have something called a Pythagorean triple. Um, these are three integer lengths that form a right triangle. There are three famous Pythagorean triples, 3, 4, and 5. If you go 3 squared plus 4 squared, does equal 5 squared. This is 9 plus 16, which is 25, and 5 squared is 25. 5, 12, and 13, 8, 15, and 17. And we're going to use this many over. There are many mores, but these are the three most commonly used ones. Now, what's nice about Pythagorean triple, it also works for multiples of them. So if I take everything times 2, that means 6, 8, and 10 is also a triple. Or if I take it times 3, that means 9, 12, and 15 are also a triple. And that works the same here where we have 10, 24, and 26, and so forth. So all the multiples are also triple. Um, again, these are just kind of like a time saver. They're not really... Um, because you would was the time saver because if you know you have like three and five you know the other length has to be four and you don't have to go through the Pythagorean theorem. All right, we can also use the Pythagorean theorem to tell whether a triangle is acute, right, or obtuse. Well, the Pythagorean theorem is only true to be equal in a right triangle. So if a squared plus b squared does equal c squared, then it is a right triangle. If a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared. So something like here. So c squared is always your biggest one. Um, so a, b, and then if this is your longest side, c. If it's greater, then it is acute. If it is not, if it's a squared plus c squared is less than, 
than to be obtuse. And the way I tell students to kind of help keep it straight, if you think of an obtuse triangle, that long length, it's super long. So of course it's going to be bigger than the other two added together because these two are generally a lot shorter. So we're, let's do one example. We're going to decide whether these lengths um, is a right, acute, or obtuse. So C is always your bigger length. So I'm going to go 5 squared plus 7 squared. And then we're going to see how it compares to 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is 100. 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. So adding those together is 74. 74 is less than 100. So C squared is bigger. So then for it has to be obtuse. So just review, um, we have the Pythagorean theorem and we're going to have to put it in simplest radical form. So you're going to have to break down your roots. Um, it's going to be the easy ones. You have a Pythagorean triple, which again, these are just a time saver. They're helpful to know. And then you have acute right and obtuse triangle. Um, acute is when a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared. When it equal it is right. And when it's obtuse, it is a c squared is greater. Reminder to do your reflection so you get credit for watching this video.